and the Professor Blue Review, we're going to show you how to speed up your computer for daily use, to make it run faster, and to make sure that you know what programs are running so it doesn't slow down at all. So let's get right into the computer here. Oh, but first, I've got some Audible books down below, free Audible audio books down below and free Kindle books down below for the kids in this time and just to help them keep reading and keep educating them. But anyways, let's get into the computer and we're going to show you how you can make sure your computer is fast day to day or why it's running slow. Have a good day. This is the Professor Blue Review. So we're going down to our desktop here and uh, trying to make sure that we can speed up our computer, speed up our Mac on daily use. Um, do we know what apps are open? A good way to check out what apps are open on your computer is a couple ways. First, down go to Command and Tab, and that'll open up right here. Command and Tab. We see we got um, six open: uh, GarageBand, um, Chrome, Movie Maker, and uh, Microsoft, and of course uh, Word. Anyways. We've got those there, so we know that we've got a lot of open or taking up a lot of time on our computer. Another way to do this is do a command, um, or you can go to Command Option Escape, and there we go. We see in here our calendars open, GarageBand, Google Chrome, iMovie, uh, Mail, Microsoft Music, all of that's open, taking up space on our computer at this time and slowing it down. We can go back again here and just go up to the Apple and go to force quit and that'll show you the programs again also and you can force quit some of these uh, easily I'm gonna go force quit the calendar right here force quit it and hit it right there force quit and you're good another way to force quit something now here is I'm gonna go down to the bottom here in uh, uh, the screen and I'm gonna look here at um, GarageBand I'm gonna right click there you know, I, I've got to go out of here first, sorry. Um, then we're going to go down to GarageBand and quit just like that. The big right here in music, force quit. So we've forced quit a few things here. Now, um, one, one of the things that you can do to speed everything up, um, your menu's at the top, of course. Um, if you're hitting the red dot, that's really not shutting down what's on. Like if I go up here to uh, uh, my word and I hit the red right here, that shut the red dot will not shut it down. If you look down below here at the computer, we still have these dots below the applications that uh, that shows you they're open. The uh, movie maker is still open. And we'll go again here to the command and tab and see what's open. Well, we did shut some things down. We did shut GarageBand down. So there's a lot of ways that you can shut things down here. We can go here and we can go to Word and uh, movie. iMovie's up here now. So I can go here to iMovie and go to the right down here to iMovie and take a right click and quit right there. I can quit there or I can go up here to the Apple and force quit and it'll show us all the programs fantastic way to figure out um, what you're doing with your menus um, you can keep a, a closing this box does not close a program um, especially on Apple the um, the program still running the dots down below mean the program is running uh, uh, and uh, you shut down with the red button, does not do it. On a PC, Windows it shows in the desktop. Um, it's, it's attached to the window, whereas in the Apple, it's not attached. So we look down here and see what we have, and we go to the Apple menu, force quit, and it'll also show us what we're getting. Or we can go to Command, Option, Escape, and shows us the same thing, and we're right there. I'm just showing you a lot. Now, another way to do this 
is command Q. It'll show you also. There's a lot of things you can go to, command Q. So we know what's open and what's not open. What's slowing down your Mac? On your Mac, the apps running in the operating system. Look here, command. These are the apps running in our operating system as of right now. Well, that's slowing down our system. Um, and on the Mac, apps running on the operating system, um, they can have Windows, but shutting them down with the red button doesn't work. But if you shut down with the red X, it's not going to shut the window down. You have to go to force quit or shut down the program. Now I'm in the mail program here. I can lower this and go down and quit. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you that the mail is still open here with the tab. But I'm going to go to um, the mail, of course, right here. Mail in here and quit mail. Go back and look again and it's gone. So that's the way to go ahead and do it. The best way I really think is to look command and tab and you see what's up there and then go down you have your movie open and you can go to the quit that's the absolute best way to do it click the quit the movie and it's obviously going to be shut down now there it is we're getting lower and lower so i'm going down to um, my word files here and quit that and look again here and Word is closed. My last two things are my Findle, Finder and my Google Chrome. Kind of want to leave those open. Another way to look up here again, we'll look at it again, is go to Force Quit. Brings you up what's up. Just two items here. And the Finder, the QuickTime Player is up. So we can go to the uh, QuickTime Player and Force Quit it. And we're there. Force Quit, QuickTime Player. So these are good ways to understand your Mac understand your Mac and um, like we said before on the Professor Blue review we like to bring value to you um, we, we hope that this helped you uh, with all of the commands and tabs um, on a PC you want to hit the control alt and delete go to the start task manager applications tab at the top and the processors and it'll show what's on there so Start, Control, Program, Features. You'll see it there that way too. On a PC, um, go to uh, the Control Panel, um, and then uh, Administration Tools, and um, System Configuration, Startup, see the list. So there's a lot of things you can do, and that's kind of walking you through what you would do on a PC. Uh, but we're working on a Mac today, if we want to look again here, now we only have two things open. I could shut those down too. I'm going to sh I quit the finder here also. Finder, of course, quit it. There's the best way today. And Google Chrome. And do the same thing, but I don't want to do that because we're sharing our screen. There we go. Um, hopefully that helped you and walk through the aspects um uh, uh, command tab shows you what's open command escape uh, command option escape shows you what's under the uh, apple and everything that's open and you can you go to the force quit same thing shows you the same thing um if you look here at the bottom dots Nothing's open. Well, my the two that are open are Google Chrome and the Finder, and you do that and take a look. We know exactly what those are by pressing the Command tab. We hope that helped you out here at the Professor Blue Review, speeding up your computer, making it run fast day to day, making sure that there's not too many programs running. So, uh, also, so check out our kids' technology. We have a kit down below in the description, also about all of this great kids technology and getting them into engineering and getting them into science and art and math and media down below there's a great kit for kids technology we got to keep them learning and enjoying and having fun while they're learning and that's when it sticks check out our steam technology for kids kit down below love y'all this is the professor blue review bringing you 
educational tools for your kids, for your home, for your family, and for your business. This is the Professor Blue Review for your educational enjoyment. Don't forget to recycle. <laughs>